at the close of a course of lectures by Oliver Wendell Holmes as the voice of the watch to the mariner's dream, as the footstep of spring on the ice-girdled stream, there comes a soft footstep, a whisper, to me, the vision is over, the rivulet free. We have trod from the threshold of turbulent March, till the green scarf of April is hung on the larch, and down the bright hillside that welcomes the day, we hear the warm panting of beautiful May. We will part before summer has opened her wing, and the bosom of June swells the bodice of spring, while the hope of the season lies fresh in the bud, and the young life of nature runs warm in our blood. It is but a word, and the chain is unbound, the bracelet of steel drops unclasped to the ground. No hand shall replace it, it rests where it fell, it is but one word that we all know too well. Yet the hawk with the wildness untamed in his eye, if you free him, stares round ere he springs to the sky. The slave whom no longer his fetters restrain will turn for a moment and look at his chain. Our parting is not as the friendship of years, that chokes with the blessing it speaks through its tears. We have walked in a garden, and, looking around, have plucked a few leaves from the myrtles we found. But now at the gate of the garden we stand and the moment has come for unclasping the hand, will you drop it like lead, and in silence retreat like the twenty crushed forms from an omnibus seat? Nay, hold it one moment, the last we may share, I stretch it in kindness, and not for my fare. You may pass through the doorway in rank or in file, if your ticket from nature is stamped with a smile. For the sweetest of smiles is the smile as we part, when the light round the Lips is a ray from the heart, and lest a stray tear from its fountain might swell, we will seal the bright spring with a quiet farewell.